I think ultimately that's the only uh, needle in the ECB's compass, as uh, Jean-Claude Trichet used to say. As, of course, I mean, it's all about inflation over the longer term and deflation risk might be on the rise. Having said that, the short-term prints in HICP inflation uh, will be very difficult to read. I would expect the ECB to look through the noise. And uh, some national statistic offices have actually said that they were almost unable to measure prices. So, I mean, short-term, the emergency is really about uh, keeping the funding uh, flows to the real economy. That's why I would expect something on the banking sector again, maybe today. Uh, and uh, ultimately, yes, you're right, it will be about recovery and supporting the recovery in order for inflation to get back to the target at some point in the future. The market's already crunching the numbers on this uh, pandemic emergency purchase program and saying the average daily purchase is roughly over 5.4 billion euros per day. The ECB exhausts that fund by October. What does that mean in terms of how much time the ECB has to play with for announcing another program? You know, some expectations out there that a further 250 to 500 billion is required. I agree, uh, but uh, so far, in cumulated terms, at least the ECB exhausted about 100 billion out of the 750 billion envelope. So it leaves them some time, uh, probably for a decision to be made by June. Uh, also, let's recall that uh, all the important decisions, decisions recently have been made outside regular meetings. So they can make this decision any Wednesday or any day in the week in, in the next few weeks. Uh, you're right. In my view, what Christine Lagarde could say today that she hasn't said so far is not that they can do more because we, we know that they can increase the program and I, will, and I do expect an increase to over one trillion eventually. But maybe in terms of the time uh, horizon, the duration of the program, which is still expected to end by the end of this year, we know for sure, for given, that the uh, recovery will not be fully on track by the end of this year, that there will be still some challenges. So what she could say, it may be hint at an extension in the duration of the program until September next year, which, by the way, coinc coincides with the, also the deadlines, uh, the changes they've made on the collateral side. That would be an elegant way, in my view, to really convince markets uh, that there is more to come.